Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm here to give you a kind of Etsy update. I've got lots of items that I'm adding to my shop today, or hopefully today. Um, certainly, you know, so as it's all up there before this video goes live. Um, so I've got some book page, um, you know, packs. I've got some ephemera and kind of vintage items packs and I've got my kits and I've also got some of my printed um, digital, you know, printables, actually printed versions. So I will start with um, my book pages. So if I just move kind of out of, you know, move all of the other items out of the way. So I'm going to be listing two of these. Um, there's kind of, you know, um, two different sets. And basically you're going to get um, a variety of just vintage book pages. So they come in a you know variety of sizes they've got different um style of images kind of you know whether they're black and white whether they kind of have a background on them or whether they're kind of drawn or you know painted or anything like that so i'm just kind of giving you a little flick through basically of what would be included in each um pack so these are the kinds of pages and then you've got these large pages which you know they're really good for um tags and things like that because you can obviously fussy cut the birds out and use them for tags or covers or you know anything like that so you know a nice selection of um bird images and you've got obviously some eggs and things like that also included on these large pages and you also will get um a napkin which obviously has got all different birds on it. So, you know, a bit um, for your decoupage there as well. So there's two different sets of those. So that's the first one. And then the second one here, again, you'll get a napkin. This one doesn't have the very tiny pages, but it does have these kind of medium sized pages instead. So the kits, they're obviously different because obviously, you know, I only have kind of one of each book, but, um, will actually get kind of different size pages in each one of the packs so I mean hopefully kind of it will be evident from the photographs on Etsy um, but actually if to help you I could call them pack one and pack two so the one I've just showed will be pack one and then this one here would be pack two so I will try and list them as pack one and pack two this one's got these small pages but it doesn't have the very tiny pages um, but you do have these pages which I absolutely adore these and again you can fussy cut bits out of these and they look great on tags and pockets and what have you so um, I've used these quite a bit already and then you've obviously got some of the large pages as well of this image of this owl so again Kind of good selection oops i don't think i'm in frame really for both sides of the pages but a good selection of different birds they've got eggs and things like that on the page as well so that's pack two of the book page kits so i'll pop that out of the way right the next item that i've got i'm going to be um <laughs> because I need to really kind of declutter a little bit it's getting a little bit kind of crazy how much stuff that I have so I thought I'd try and share it with you guys so this would come bound with string my very favorite thing and inside the pack I have made a little envelope which contains now all of the images all of the items in these little kits or packs are all vintage so they're all for making your junk journals so inside this little kind of envelope that I've made you've got these um, cigarette cards various different ones you've got various postage stamps again all vintage um, you know a variety there I think there's about 15 postage stamps all together so a kind of nice selection for using with your journals and then you also get these um, matchbox tops. Now I was lucky enough to pick some of these up um, a couple of weeks ago. I have been making some printables from these. Um, it's not quite completed yet, but hopefully will be shortly. 
um, but these are the actual original matchbox tops so I mean most of them are actually on this kind of chipboard some are just a kind of paper um, you know piece and some are kind of cardboard piece but they were all you know they're all vintage so you've got those items there so quite a nice um, selection and I mean the matchbox tops I think they're just perfect for kind of paper clips and I have done a kind of little process video or tutorial for some paper clips but I haven't uploaded that because my printables aren't ready yet then you've got this which is some vintage lace it's pale pink and it's not hugely old I think the guy said about 1980 something I think um, but there's two meters of that and I've just popped it on a kind of homemade little spool card you've got some vintage sewing pattern flicked off as it likes to do I won't unfold it but you know some vintage um, uh, you know sewing pattern there and then you've got some vintage fabric here so this is from some old curtains so that's that you've got a piece of that neck curtain which again vintage but this actually I've coffee dyed also so some of that and then here this piece is um, some upholstery fabric it's not vintage um, and in fact it still has kind of a lot of this sticky stuff um, I bought a whole batch of this and I was lucky because some um, I have washed and the sticky just came off and floated off kind of as I you know washed it just literally on the um, top of the stove you know um, I haven't obviously tried this piece but it may be that this is one of the ones where the glue isn't too bad some the glue was kind of worse than others but you've got this piece which I thought would be really great for a cover for a journal and it's obviously a nice big piece and here there's a vintage um, ordnance survey map so again obviously that's a huge piece I won't unfold it all but it's the complete map there then you've got some vintage playing cards here um, just kind of a few there and I tried to kind of include a couple of black and a couple of the red ones and obviously a few different kind of backs so there's this gorgeous one here then here um, this was just in a little vintage pack of kind of notelets so one of those one of these which was in a similar pack um, some lotto cards again from a vintage kind of lotto game so a couple of those some airmail envelopes which um again i got these from a charity shop i mean i don't know how old they are but um you know there's kind of three of those in this particular pack you've got this um invoice or a i'm not sure whether it's an invoice or a, anyway something here a vintage piece of paperwork you've also got a napkin there with the birds um, just like what was contained in the bird packs and then here this is some book pages from my Pittman shorthand kind of book so a variety of kind of pages from that and obviously you've got quite a bit of ledger kind of um, examples given in there so I thought that's quite fun then here are some book pages from another bird book and this is really nice it's kind of gilded on the side I don't know whether the camera would pick that up but it's kind of gold on the side which is rather nice and obviously they've got pictures there of birds and I have a feeling that that book was from 18 something 18 something anyway so very vintage then you've got some vintage children's encyclopedia pages um, really nice and obviously tried to include them with kind of graphics and things like that on them or you know images on them so you've got those and then finally in this particular pack you've got um, an entire complete Bing Crosby's um, sheet music so I mean I say it's complete but it looks like there is a page missing but this is how it came you know when I bought it so that's kind of um, that so you've got a fair few pages there and obviously you've got that nice centre page with that lovely picture so, you know, suitable for either tearing and kind of using flaring or, you know, kind of keeping as is really. So that's um, pack number one. So quite a few fun kind of items included in the pack. You know, kind of hopefully quite a bit to like 
get you started obviously on a journal you know you've got the fabric obviously to use for a cover and you know various other little elements so that's pack number one so I'll just move that to one side and then pack number two is very similar so this one is bound with string slightly thicker string so again you've got the two meters of the vintage lace and then again I have made a little coin kind of policy envelope here and inside there again you've got oops, similar similar configuration of items it's now stuck in there um, with the kind of vintage postage stamps assortment so again I think it was 15 little vintage stamps that I've popped in there um, and again tried to kind of include a variety of colours and things so that you could kind of you know have a variety there and then you've got the cigarette cards again for popping in and then you've got some more of those fabulous matchbox tops and again they're exactly the same in that some are actually wooden wooden backed and some are literally paper some are kind of cardboard so you know you kind of have a have a variety of matchbox tops there and they're all kind of getting hooked on one another I'm afraid that one's sweet isn't it it's a squirrel there so uh, yeah so that's those and then you've got again some vintage playing cards so again I tried to kind of include you know a couple of different colours then you've got a couple of the lotto cards again three of the airmail envelopes more of the vintage sewing pattern um, paper and then in this one which is slightly different obviously to the other one you've got this kind of flyer here which is dated 1958 it's got this gorgeous image on the front and then various different images inside and kind of adverts and things so I thought that was rather nice so I've included that in this kit then there's some more of the um, paper from the Pittman book with the examples of the ledger paper there so I thought that was quite nice it's more of that um, bird book from the 1800s with the images there of the birds then this one you've got um, another ordnance survey map this one um, it must be slightly newer because it's three pounds forty the other one was only one pound something I can't actually see a date for this but again I won't unfold it all it's the complete map so you've got a lot of kind of map there then again I've included some um, images from encyclopedia book you've got some kind of biblical um, kind of images here and obviously some black and white images and things so that's that one and then obviously you've got one of the napkins with the birds some of the fabric some of the lace there that's been coffee dyed and then this here is some more upholstery fabric which again it's kind of backed onto this which again I mean I don't know which kind of glue they've used whether this would float off or not but you know again I kind of feel it's just perfect for a cover and you could coffee dye it and things and use it as a cover for a journal and then here you've got um, again a complete um, sheet music booklet the student prints this says um, I mean that means nothing to me but maybe it would to other people so you've got this nice picture on the front and then the complete um, you know, book itself in there so you know again you've got kind of plenty of pages there for either tearing out or you know layering up or making tags or you know whatever really so that's kind of pack number two of kind of the ephemera and vintage kind of pieces so I'll move that to one side then the next item that I've got is um, this is a printed copy of my die cut pieces my ephemera pieces that are actually kind of printables and I did talk before about kind of making some um, up where they're actually sold as the printed item so this here I've been playing around with my printer and I managed to buy some of this gorgeous buff coloured card I love the buff coloured card as you know as you know 
Um, and I've printed it onto that, which I thought looked fabulous. And I have already used this or been using it to make a couple of things. So, um, you know, this is going to be featuring in my journals, I think, because, you know, I really like how it looks on this card. So I've got this item here, which is obviously these four pages of A4. Um, and it's obviously kind of printed. It's I think it was 280 um, GSM cardstock. So, you know, it's really good kind of um, quality cardstock. So it would be posted out to you like that as a kind of four page um, piece. So that's the first one. And then I have an identical one, but just printed onto, this I think is 160 GSM cardstock. And as you can see, it's just ivory card stock. So it's, you know, it's not the buff colored card, but you know, I think looks equally good. I don't know which one I prefer. If I just kind of give you a kind of idea there. I think both of them have their uses. I mean, I hope the color's coming out okay here on the camera. Um, but I thought I would kind of give it a try with kind of both. So that again would be kind of four printed pages of that digital download. And just while I'm talking about the digital things, just wanted to show you this because I managed to get some vellum, A4 vellum, and print the printables onto vellum. And I just love how they look. Um, it printed absolutely fine. The only thing was I did have to leave it to dry for about five or 10 minutes because as you can see down here, it's kind of a bit smudgy obviously on the vellum when it first prints out because obviously it needs the ink to dry on there. But I just wanted to show you that because um, I just thought it was really, you know, really nice and quite different. And then I just printed a page from my Gypsy Rose kit as well. So um, hopefully when I do my next episode of that, I'll be playing around with the vellum. Um, pieces as well so I just wanted to kind of share that with you because I thought that was fun and then I've got two um, of my little kits um, you know as per kind of the kits that I often do so the first one it's contained in this little paper package it's kind of bound with a little ribbon and you've got a denim pocket here which I've decorated up with some bits and bobs there and inside there I have just included Oops. some of my little principles there Oops. obviously for use in your journals so in fact I have included there a little vellum piece if you can see that so if I just kind of lay it over something you can kind of see through it which is rather nice so you've just got a few little pieces there um, of ephemera and what have you so that's what's included as your little pieces here so I'll just pop them back in and then oh, I'll pop them in in a moment in case I kind of damage them putting them in oh there we go um on the package itself there's a printable there from my um ladies garden kit and then here I've just clipped on with a bulb pin um a little ticket there with a little fabric flower it's got some lace behind it and a little piece of um hessian there and a little flower. I've got a little flower here, some fabric, some lace, a little button, postage stamp and some more lace there, some vintage book page and a doily. And then on the other side again another kind of collage going on with flower and a button and postage stamp um, just to make a kind of pretty and interesting collage really. So going inside the following items. So you've got a little bow which actually I could put the bow inside here. So the, I don't know whether I actually showed that in the end, sorry, a little organza bow that's in white, so that just tucks in like that. And then you've got the following items. So there's this one here, which it's just some scrapbook paper and layered up some of my principles. It's all inked up and, you know, very vintage looking, some lace there. And then I've just popped in a little vintage playing card like that and I would just use this as a little pocket on a page glue it down like that and use it there as a top loading pocket then you've got here a little kind of corner tuck so again I just kind of glue it on two edges and have it in the corner like that and again it's just got some layered up elements then here I've just got a kind of fold out booklet so just ties up with string you've got a printable there layered up you've got some um, ribbon which I've just distress inked another printable there, some vintage lace 
and then it just folds out like a little booklet and obviously you could attach some pages here either stitching them in or just staple in some pages so it's got more pages there and obviously this string I've just glued onto the back so it could either be glued onto a page and used as a kind of side pocket or you could just use it kind of as a standalone piece um, popped into a journal and here I've just got a little cluster um, with various elements then I have here a little corner tuck spot for kind of the top corner there and again I would just kind of glue it down on three sides pop it there and obviously tuck things in like that it's got some layered up pieces and some faux diamante and then here I've just got um, I think they're called a kind of matchbox match matchbook box matchbox book um, booklet so it's just got a piece here tucked in and again you could add some kind of extra pages there if you wanted to and that just tucks in oops in like that and I've layered up some elements um, this here is some vintage playing cards that I got which actually again I'm trying to kind of make some printables from them because I think they'll be really fabulous um, but that's my prototype there so that's what that is um, and again I would just kind of glue that down and stick that onto a page and use it maybe as a side pocket as well and then the final item in this one is the book page pocket which again it's been stitched on the sewing machine and then it's got various bits layered up these are some printable uh, some die cut pieces I think from Kayser Craft if my memory serves me right and then you've got a journaling spot there and some lace trim down the side and that's obviously a pocket there so that's kit number one and then kit number two here it's um, a fabric kind of package so this is some beautiful upholstery fabric and then I've got some lace trim here more lace trim at the bottom some of that vintage trim there and some faux de monte and then a little handmade flower here fabric flower which has just been attached with a bulb pin you can obviously take that off to use in your work and then going inside of here just check I've got everything out Oops. So inside I've got two clusters here, so um, just layered up kind of elements to pop onto a page. Um, you know, lots of bits and bobs going on on there. Then here I've got an altered paper clip, um, which I've got one of my principles. This has been printed onto the buff coloured card and it's got some lace trim and some fabric and some faux de monte down there. And this obviously would just pop onto a page just like that. To hold something onto a page so that's that one then here there's a large tag it's got various elements layered up and then it's got here um, dream a little dream and some faux de monte down the bottom then here I've just got a little kind of this is actually um, an envelope piece and I've just made a little kind of tuck uh, corner pocket there and I've popped in a little printable and some printables on here and some vintage lace so again I mean I would just kind of probably use this as a double tuck so stick it there and then you've got this bit here and you'd also have it kind of behind as well so that's that one here I've made a little kind of fold out booklets and I have done a little tutorial on these but I don't think I've uploaded it yet so um, I may or may not have done by the time this video goes live and it's just got a little pocket here um, for some ephemera and it's got some layered up bits on the front so obviously this could be used either as a standalone piece on a page you know um, tucked into a pocket or actually kind of glued in and used as a kind of double pocket there um, and a kind of fold out booklet then here I've got one of my little pieces that I did a tutorial on and this has just been um, bound with string for kind of an extra interest and basically tucks in here Oops. tucks in there and obviously folds out like that so you've got kind of journaling space there it just tucks in here like that just can never do things on camera and I'm leaning around the camera which isn't great um, and then obviously you just kind of glue it down and use it like that you know and have it kind of as a double or as a little pocket as well so that just oops doesn't tie up sorry what I was doing there um, doesn't tie up it winds around obviously on here and then here I've got um, another little pocket which has got various elements layered up these are from my printables this is another one printed on the vellum which just looks super cool 
um, and then some little ruffle here, tiny ruffle that I made. And then it's just got a little journaling card tucked in there. And then it's also got a pocket at the top. So this could be glued onto a page. It could be glued like that and you'd have a pocket here, pocket here and also a pocket at the top. And inside there, I've just included a few little printable items there, kind of pieces of ephemera um, that kind of coordinate nicely with the rest of the kit and a little organza bow. So that's kind of kit number two and um, yeah, they're all uploaded in my Etsy shop now. So, um, you know, feel free to kind of go across and have a look and check it all out. So yeah, thanks very much for stopping by. Hope that kind of uh, wasn't a bit rushed there to trying to kind of show everything in one video, but I just thought I'd try and include everything in one go really. So. Thank you very much for tuning in and um, yeah, take a look into my shop and thanks very much for watching. See you later. Bye.